What's going on summoners? I'm Kangas, and today we finally got more information about the Dr. Mundo rework. Riot's been giving us hints and teasers for a long time now, and I cannot wait to see him on the rift. So hit that sub button and let's jump into it. Starting off with his passive, goes where he pleases, Dr. Mundo resists the first immobilizing effect that hits him. When he gets hit, he loses a portion of his current health and drops a chemical canister nearby. Dr. Mundo can pick up this canister to restore a portion of his max health, while also reducing the cooldown of his passive. But enemies can walk over the canister to destroy it. On top of that, Dr. Mundo still has increased health regen based on his max health. Now the first thing I thought when I saw this was obviously it's kinda similar to Zack's passive blobs. Personally, I think the pickup mechanic that Riot adds to certain champions is actually kind of fun because it adds a little mini game to the game. I'm looking at Zack, Poppy, even Draven, champions that you have to reposition to grab things specifically on the map. And now that he's a tank, he's got to think about controlling the battlefield. And this will create situations where Dr. Mundo will need to think about his passive or his teammates. Overall, I think it's a really cool ability, if not a little broken at first glance. Moving on to his Q, Infected Bone Saw, and uh, guess what? It's the same as before. Dr. Mundo throws a cleaver that slows and deals magic damage based on the target's current health. I mean, Riot did tell us they were keeping his cleaver, and it's nice to see they weren't lying. With how the rest of his kit works, I feel like it was a good decision to just keep how his cleaver worked the same as before. He's a tank that thrives in chaotic teamfights and chasing down enemies with slows, and Riot is staying true to that. So now let's move on to Mundo's W, Heart Zapper. Mundo electrocutes himself for a few seconds, dealing persistent magic damage to nearby enemies and storing a portion of damage taken as gray health. At the end of the ability, Dr. Mundo deals a burst of magic damage to nearby enemies. If this burst hits an enemy, he will heal his gray health back. This health is reduced if the ability only hits minions or monsters, and Mundo can recast Heart Zapper to end its effect early. Alright, so first things first, this ability is way more interesting than his current W. So let's break it down a bit. When Mundo uses it, he immediately becomes a massive threat for the enemy team. If you focus him, he'll build up gray health like Tom Ketch, except Dr. Mundo gets to heal it back instead of gating a shield. If you ignore him, you'll just run out of the team fight and melt the enemy carries. So this new W will be really solid in a fight, and it will also provide Dr. Mundo with some sustain in both the jungle and landing phase. Being able to charge health and heal off of minions and monsters will really help him out in matchups that might be difficult, like Vayner Teemo. But we do want to note that we'll have to see the exact numbers on this ability before making any serious guesses on his viability. Alright, now let's move on to Dr. Mundo's new E, Blunt Force Trauma. This ability comes with a passive and an active. The passive just gives Mundo bonus attack damage, increasing based on his missing health. Activating this ability will make Dr. Mundo slam his medical bag into an enemy, dealing physical damage based on their missing health. And the crazy thing is if the enemy dies, they'll actually be swatted away, dealing the ability's minimum damage to any enemies they pass through. At first glance, this just kind of looks like Riot gave Mundo more depth to his E. He still gains attack damage passively, and his active kind of reminds me of Cyan's E, but with a catch. This ability alone will make Dr. Mundo's laning and jungling pretty good, however, this change is definitely aimed towards top lane Mundo, and we'll need to see what kind of damage his E and W do to jungle camps before we make any judgment. And finally, let's talk about Dr. Mundo's R, Maximum Dosage. He pumps himself with chemicals, instantly healing a percentage of his missing health. Dr. Mundo then heals a portion of his maximum health over a longer duration, gaining movement speed and attack damage while healing. From the trailer alone, it looks like the healing will last for about 10 seconds. And while it might look like Dr. Mundo's current ult, I don't think that Mundo will actually lose health when he uses it. This is pretty huge, since a lot of his reworked kit relies on him getting low on HP in order to deal as much damage as possible. If he bears ultimate with this passive, Mundo's got a ton of instant heals. Overall, I'm just really excited about this rework. With the way all of Dr. Mundo's abilities interact with his health, we might finally have our first true drain tank in League. And something interesting to note is that while Dr. Mundo has a lot of built-in attack damage, his W actually does magic damage, so I'm thinking it'll be pretty hard to actually build against a fed Mundo. And that stays true to the kind of tank he is currently on the live servers. The biggest difference with the new Dr. Mundo's gameplay will definitely be his tenacity. Right now, Mundo relies on his W to give him tenacity so that he can avoid getting kited by the enemy's CC. This rework removes that tenacity from his kit, but instead gives him CC immunity with his passive. It'll be extremely important for both teams to pay attention to this canister when it drops to make sure that he doesn't get the lowered cooldown. And that'll wrap up everything that we got so far. If you want to check out the rework for yourself, head over to the PBE where you'll even find teasers for the Pool Party Braum and set. And yes, you can stop tweeting at me about that Braum cosplay. As always, thanks for watching, everybody. Make sure to hit like and subscribe so you don't miss any of our newest videos. And most importantly, best of luck on the Rift. Stay hydrated, and I'll see you next time.